What's up guys, Will H Tech Review back with another video. We're going to take a look at Samsung DeX using it on your MacBook Air M1. So uh, if you guys know, I have showcased using Samsung DeX using it on the PC. I've showcased it using it on, on wirelessly and uh, I just love DeX. So Samsung DeX, if you're not familiar what it is, Samsung DeX is an interface that Samsung has included on their phones since the Samsung Galaxy S8 where you can plug into an external monitor, not unless you're using their tablets, and it'll give you a PC or Mac type environment to work around in. Today, I'm using it with my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Now, you may, you may be saying, why would I want to use Samsung DeX on my MacBook Air M1? Well, there are several reasons why you may want to use it. For me, if I'm somewhere and I don't have Wi-Fi access where I can uh, log into my uh, laptop and use a full display, then I'm going to plug in and use Samsung DeX. I don't have hotspot. I don't pay for hotspot. So this is one way I can kind of like bypass using uh, hotspot and still get uh, full access to the web and uh, be able to get things done uh, as far as using a full display. Also, it is another, uh, it's easy to transfer files if you have a Samsung device to your MacBook Air where you can, uh, you know, may, maybe it be pictures, videos, documents or whatever. This is an easy way that you can transfer files to your MacBook. So let's get into it. So. Those are the reasons why I like to use DeX if I'm out and about on my on my uh, MacBook Air. So let's get into it. So if you want to use Samsung DeX on your MacBook Air, the first thing you're going to have to do is go over to Samsung website and you're going to have to download the Samsung DeX onto your uh, device. Once you do that, you go ahead and install it. And this is Samsung DeX interface right here. And uh, once you have it all installed and everything, the first time you open it, it's going to say to start DeX, connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. So here's my USB-C. The other end is plugged into my MacBook. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my Note 20 Ultra here. So it's plugged in. And once it's plugged in, you're going to get a uh, notification here. Start Samsung DeX on your MacBook Air. And you go ahead and say start now. And we'll just see how fast it takes. And just like that, you're into Samsung DeX. And you can use this at this size if you want. Or you can go ahead and open it up full screen like this. So this is Samsung DeX. This is a desktop type environment. I have apps on here that I can move around anywhere I want. I can put anything I want on this on my home screen here. I can change the background uh, to whatever I want here. Over here, I got the battery percentage. I have my uh, drop down uh, menu here where I can control my Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, locations, uh, mobile data and things of that nature. Uh, I also can take a screenshot. I can control my volume here. Uh, got a on-screen on keyboard. I do have the time over here. And notifications as well. So I can get into my notifications and I can interact with them if I want. Uh, over on this side, I have all of the apps. If I had any apps running, they would be there. Uh, here, the, here the apps that are running. I can jump right back into the apps. I can close them all. And then I can get into all of my apps that I have on my phone. And pretty much anything on my phone I can get into and interact with uh, just like that. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into YouTube. Let me show you. This is YouTube. And as you guys see, I can stroll up and down. Now, I do have a mouse connect, so I can stroll up and down. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my page here. And as you see, this is all fluent and working very well. It is working. So let's go ahead and open up a video. 
Let's open this video up. Finish your mid phase and as you guys see, playing very well. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. So the volume is coming through my MacBook. So I'm gonna go ahead, get into the video. This is a, you see, kind of a fun video, I'll call it. this is this is my coming through my phone. This is not connected to. Uh, this is all through Dex. So if I wanted to uh, minimalize that, I can minimalize it. I can uh, resize this screen if I want to. I can snap it to one side just like this. And once I snap it, I can go ahead and open up uh, something else. Let's go ahead and open up Best Buy. So now I can be over here on Best Buy. Uh, Best Buy is one. Now some of them, they won't resize. So you have to be aware of that. Uh, this is the biggest you'll get Best Buy right here. But I can have multiple uh, things going on here. So if I wanted to open up the weather channel and check out, see what the weather is, then I can do that. You guys see, here's the weather. Now I can uh, minimalize that as well. Uh, for some reason, my video stopped playing, but there it is. So now I got the weather channel going here. I got Best Buy going over here. And I can uh, resize these and I can put them wherever I want. So this is Samsung Dex, man. Uh, let me go ahead and stop this video here. All right, so that is Samsung Dex. Uh, if you wanted to be creating a document, working on a document, you can do that. So Google Docs over here. I can have Google Docs over here, creating a new document. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new doc. And you can use the arm bell uh, keyboard if you want. Now one thing about the MacBook Air compared to using it on my uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop uh, 3, this is not a touch screen, but... You know, I can go ahead and type, as you guys see. I can go ahead and have that over to the side. Say, for instance, I want to be looking up some information on uh, on the internet to use to type to get my information for my uh, document that I'm typing. Then I can have this open over here, and I can transfer uh, pictures or whatever right over to this document from here. And keep it moving like that. Now I can have a bunch of tabs open over here on my web browser. So let's go to, let's type in, uh, let's go to Twitter. So I can have Twitter open over here. Be working on my document as well. And maybe listen at a uh, video or something. I can snap this to one side over here. Or I can, I can snap this full screen if I want. Just bring it up. There it is. That's full screen. This is Twitter using about a browser. So Samsung Dex is pretty full featured. Okay, guys. So if I wanted to transfer files from my Dex, Samsung Dex or Ga Samsung Galaxy Note 20 to my MacBook Air, I will simply, uh, what I do is just kind of minimalize this so I can see what I'm doing here go into the files now you can transfer bit uh, videos pictures documents whatever you want to do I'm going to transfer just a, a little video here so I'm going to go into my little small videos here this is uh, my intro and outro so I'm going to just click on this drag it over and I can drop it to my desktop here now you can set up folders that you want to drop it into or whatever and as you guys see that was very fast now I can take this uh, video here. I can do whatever I want. As you guys see, I can play this or whatever I want to do with it. And you can also transfer files from your MacBook back over to your Samsung device simply by just grabbing it. And you've got the choice of internal storage or SD card. I'm going to drop that right into my internal storage there. And once I go back out, now you can see uh, I have duplicate, duplicate copies. This is one I just dropped back on there and I can jump into it and play this. Uh, so uh, that's just an example of how you can uh, transfer files back and forth from your Samsung device to your MacBook Air. And it's so much easier like that, in my opinion, 
to get uh, things over here. Uh, a lot of times I may take some pictures or shoot some video with my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I may want to put them over here and use them within a video or something like that. But uh, overall, the Samsung DeX works well. As you guys see, no lag, stutter, or anything like that with this. And uh, I just like using it when I'm not around a Wi-Fi connection. And uh, it's great. So that's a look at the Samsung DeX using it on your MacBook Air M1. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H. And I'm out.